Hello everyone, this is Joao from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the pancreas in situ. So today we're going to be looking at the pancreas in situ which essentially means that we're going to be exploring this image that you see now on the screen which shows you an interior view of the abdomen. So we stripped a lot of the muscles, the organs, vessels to then be left with the pancreas here and a lot of the structures or some of the main structures that are surrounding the pancreas and we're going to be describing them and talking a little bit about them. As you probably know and as I'm highlighting right now the pancreas in green this is an accessory organ of the gastrointestinal tract and the endocrine system. It is a unique organ because it serves as two glands in one a digestive exocrine gland and a hormone producing endocrine gland. This organ measuring approximately 15 centimeters in length is retroperitoneal except for the small part of its tail and lies mostly posterior to the stomach which we just removed here from this image. Now in what we call the duodenal loop and partially behind the omental bursa which you don't see here on this image because we removed these structures. Now the pancreas is both as I mentioned a endocrine and an exocrine gland that can be divided anatomically into a head and neck body and tail which we will also talk about later on on this tutorial. But before we do so let's first take a look at the functions associated to the pancreas. And as I previously said the pancreas serves simultaneously as an endocrine and exocrine gland. Functioning as an exocrine gland, the pancreas will be secreting enzymes to the duodenum in order to break down proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids during digestion. Now when it functions as an endocrine gland, the pancreas secretes hormones such as insulin and glucagon into the blood in order to control blood sugar levels throughout the day. Before we continue, I would like to do a quick overview on the histology associated to the pancreas. The exocrine part, which accounts for 80% of this organ, has closely packed serous as sinai and secretes an enzyme-rich alkaline fluid into the duodenum via the pancreatic duct. The endocrine part accounts for 2% of the organ containing clusters of small islands of endocrine cells known as the islets of Langerhans. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.